<laughs> my goodness good morning we're so glad you're here we daily vlog so if you like this video we hope you'll return tomorrow there's so much going on right now um one christina had sent me a video from ellen of Kristen bell and what's his name dax shepherd her husband playing this game and it was so funny i have a headache from laughing so hard she wants me to call her to tell me my to tell her my reaction but peter just told me that the lens arrived our new lens and it's at the front door so i have to do that and then i also when i just put this memory card in and i formatted it i thought that i deleted everything from yesterday we work off of two memory cards so that there's like constantly either one in the camera and one in the computer and i thought i deleted all of our footage from yesterday so i'm gonna get the lens call christina and then show you guys how great our new lens is going to make the vlog look nobody knocked one-handed ouch wowza here are all the specs peter still i was like are you sure you want me to to open it up without you and he said yes well this is the cutest little not egg carton looking thing i've ever seen oh my gosh <laughs> like the most um i don't know like uneducated unboxing ever <laughs> what do you think i don't know what i think it's for sure crisper your model oh my gosh i think this shot looks cool are you so sleepy <laughs> okay go take a nap i'm home and i'm on this new lens and it's super cool I mean, you got i just wanted to say hi on the camera but i put the camera down because i have to eat these noodles and we have to figure out what we're doing tonight because it determines on what I, whether i run right now or whether i run later and it's or, friday and it's friday it's the weekend it's celebration so we gotta figure this thing out This is nice. Can you tell the difference? Yeah, I can. on the new lens. It took outrageously long to get here. Over an hour. Yes. Should we go left or right? Uh, let's go left. I feel like left is quicker, right? Yeah. No, that's definitely beach club over there. It's but like we'll still go this way. Though. It's yeah. like right by the lighthouse. We're gonna go watch a movie, which we have not done in forever. Sarah's gonna watch all of it. I'll watch most of it, I think. Yeah. I have to go on a run tonight, and I have high aspirations of getting up really early and running, but I don't know if that's going to happen because you guys know how well Peter Brookhart <laughs> and getting up early, how well that goes outside of Run Disney weekends and even sometimes on Run Disney weekends. Right. So, I'm sure we'll just see, see what happens, but <laughs> Frozen 2 is fun. So just be aware, we are getting used to this new lens and so there will be a little bit of growing pains. There, I know we, there is a little bit of reflective light in the past couple of shots and also we're getting used to the focus. So. Well, and Sarah we'll was like, it out. she was like, oh, go look at that shot just now, the selfie shot we just took walking over there. And I was like, I was like, oh yeah, let's see how it looks, because I haven't gotten to play with it too much yet. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it looks really good. Then all of a sudden I see the big old string lights reflecting across the face. I was like, oh, we're, we're doing something wrong here. And we, we believe, like 100% that was from the ND filter being on, which mm -hmm. really is more so for indoor or during daytime. Yeah. So it's we'll just, like sunglasses for yes. your camera. So. Learning. Yeah. I still think that shot looked great. Yeah. Oh, what'd you 
got the Perhaps for me to go to the Enchanted Forest and find that voice. Christoph, can I borrow your wagon and spend? Mm -hmm. The self I'm going to throw a card tonight. It's time for me to run. Right side. Elsa's got a tool. Oh, I love that. We are. Look at what? Oh, that's the epic. I got to point out what kind of amazing life I know I have, guys. Even though all the struggles. Got the best woman in the whole world is my wife over there. Watching Frozen 2 beautiful crescent lake and I'm hoping it works out well Happy Ever, or Epcot Forever is going off and Star Wars so pretty awesome do you want to build a snowman so Peter is running I decided to go into the beach club lobby because we rarely spend a lot of time here and it smells so good. It's so pretty. There's actually a bride taking beautiful photos over there right now. Um, but it's actually really, really chilly outside. I didn't wear socks and shoes. I thought that it was hot again. Um, but it's really chilly. So I just texted Peter that I'd be hanging out in here until he's done. There's not as much like entertainment or things like the boardwalk, but just wanted some beach club appreciation. I'm done. How many did you I do? I decided on four miles and not six because we just ate too close to me running. So my stomach <laughs> was kind of hurting me. Yeah. But I did a 901 pace, four miles. With a lower heart rate because it's cooler. Nice. Um, oh, your hat reminds me. Our friends Megan and Katie joined Team yes. Determination. They joined Determination. They're yeah. both going to do the 10K mm -hmm. for wine and that. Yes. So, and as of right now, I, I didn't tell Sarah yet, but I broke it to our friend Jenna, who's in charge of wine and dine, that we will most likely 99.9% .9 not be fundraising wine and dine or even running wine and dine. I am literally due. Like oh, two weeks before, not even. No, not even. Days. Well, on top of that, but like, that's huge reason number one. Wait, am I due or is the baby due? The baby's due. <laughs> <laughs> and then main reason number two is for fundraising perspective we're gonna be uh, we may be opening up i got an update for world marathon again they changed it up and we may be opening up that fundraiser by the end of the month right so we'll be too busy like reaching out to companies and working with that kind of thing yeah to fundraise first so i might not be so it'll be fun to cheer them we're still gonna go i don't think i'm gonna run wine and dine at all then okay so the funniest thing happened today at work one of my coworkers' his wife is a big Run Disney person, and the other day was early registration for Wine and Dine for annual pass holders in DVC. So of course the internet was freaking out because that sells out in like 10 minutes, and then everyone thinks that the entirety of the race is sold out, when in reality it's just the 10% that they set aside for early registration. So my buddy today was like, hey, my wife got into early registration. Are you running Wine and Dine? I'm assuming you are. I said, Actually, I don't think I am. And he's like, what? And I pulled up the World Marathon Challenge website and I was like, this is what I think I'm doing instead. And all of a sudden, big font, it says, World Marathon Challenge 2021. And I was like, wait, <laughs> that's next year. It's supposed to be every two years. I delve a little deeper, calm down, and realized that it was, they changed it. They did change it literally last night. I was like, I was just on this website yesterday. But they changed it last night that instead of February of 2022, the next World Marathon Challenge is gonna be November, the end of November, 2021, to better accommodate the weather in Antarctica because that was, there were terrible yeah, conditions. Yeah, that was a big thing this year. Uh, four weeks ago when they did it then. So, it looks like we lost four months of fundraising and four months of training and conditioning. <laughs> Um, but I immediately emailed my friends at ACS in Chicago and I was like, did you guys, did you guys know this? Like, what does this mean? What is happening? And they emailed me like, calm down. We knew we just couldn't tell anybody because they told us we couldn't tell anybody until they changed their website. But they called ACS yesterday morning and notified them of the change. So they're trying to work out between the big head honchos, all the logistics again. So still waiting to sign the dotted line. But Sarah and I are still on board. Because our friend Kyra was like, I get it if you and Sarah don't want to do this anymore after the, the recent move up of the dates and everything. And we were like, I called Sarah and I was like, are we still in? And we're like, yeah. It'll we... be right by our baby's first birthday. Right after our baby's yeah. first birthday. Yeah. 
so we're still doing it but i still don't know the detailed details just yet look at this beautiful park look at this beautiful park i feel so good that we haven't been to the festival yet but we're going sunday yes we are <laughs> going sunday gonna actually get they have five items i think we can eat yeah they have the whole um impossible booth the Dang trowel it. and trellis the I same one as last year i kind of want to splurge and get two of those meatballs for myself because that'd be my dream come true so yummy so we'll figure it out but <laughs> either way it's gonna be a great day on sunday for it our be bellies and, and our souls flower garden's like the longest festival it goes until june sarah do you realize how absurd you just sounded what? it's the longest fe food and wine is the longest it's very festival close. it's very close Are you okay? Just playing hide and seek or something. Sounds like Eve when she sees like a cracker underneath the stove. I did the math. Flower and Garden is 89 days and Food and Wine was 86 last year. Hmm. I also, I was just telling this to somebody that it's wild that our baby is due right before Halloween, like right before Halloween. But Halloween in Florida starts in August. So it's already gonna be like Halloween season in August. And food and wine, or I'm sorry, flower and garden goes until June, which is only two months away from August. We're in flower and garden now. So it's basically time for the baby to come out. <laughs> okay, we are home. Um, Peter's taking a shower, but I just wanted to say before I forgot that it was so cool tonight watching Frozen 2 with a bunch of adults who had never seen it before and to like know what punchline or what bit of the story was coming up next because like I could like sit and watch the reactions. Um, I don't know. I thought it was really cool. I just wanted to share it. So show dog <laughs> eating tortilla. Sit. Ooh, that was a big jump. I'm also eating spinach. You should have put some hummus or dressing on there. Health. I got my Morton's drink here. And my spinach wrap. Ready for an early morning weekend run. Haven't done that in a while. It's going down. Alright, February 6th is the name of the game Friday. Today's message by Nelson Mandela. The greatest glory of living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Sarah's up there, um, ready for bed. Eve's down on the ground with me because I'm about to roll out my legs. Um, have high aspirations of getting up in the morning early to run, and then I'm actually gonna go watch the Winter Park Road Race, Road Race, which is the distance there challenge. It's a two miler and a 10K. Got a bunch of friends running, and then I'm gonna. Don't forget to bring Jared's shirt. You're right. I can't forget that. And then I'm gonna volu I'm volunteering at the kids race for Track Shack. I uh, don't know what I'm doing yet for it, but I'll be there to help uh, facilitate. I think that kids race. So it should be a good fun morning. Sarah's gonna stay home, rest, get some sleep, extra sleep in, and then get started on the vlog while I'm out doing that fun stuff. But. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be a fun time taking the new lens into the park for the first time. We got some fast passes at Animal Kingdom. Gonna do some shows, gonna do some rides, gonna have a good old time. But it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>